Detective Murdoch, I very much appreciate your taking the time to speak with me today. As you might guess, the public's been clamoring to know all about you ever since you were exonerated on those murder charges. Do you care to comment on that business? No. No, I don't. I see. Well then, let's start with some basics. Are your origins here in Toronto? Actually, no, I'm from Nova Scotia. Any family here? Parents? Siblings? I was recently surprised while out on a case. How may I be of service, gentlemen? Reverend Mother, I'm Detective Will. Will? Susanna? Sir? Constable, allow me to introduce my sister. But our reunion was all too brief. I hope that you will forgive me for wanting to spend my final days in prayer and contemplation. Can you forgive me? Murdoch's mother died while he was still a boy. And his father, well, his closest relationship may have been with the bottle. Is this father still living? Oh, he certainly is. I did not kill that man. We both very well know what you're capable of when you've been drinking. If it wasn't for you, I never would have considered coming out here for one moment. That's not precisely true. But first his father, and then this RCMP officer shows up, and he's just like Murdoch for God's sake. Make one move and I'll whack it. Dad! William? Jasper? Bloody terrifying to think that there's more than one of them. Does that imply that you have trouble working with the detective? Of course not. Although his methods can be irritating. But we're all brothers when we need to be. Brothers? Oh, well... Well, there is Dr. Ogden. I'm afraid I'll need to perform the post-mortem on this man right away. We'll take a carriage then. Well, that would take much too long. Oh. Can you perform the post-mortem here? I'll need to purchase some supplies, but otherwise, yes. Oh, good. I've heard you have quite a special relationship with the constabulary's pathologist. We've always worked well together. Another room. Sorry. Could you pass me those vials? So, if the antibodies in the rabbit serum react to the human blood cells, then a visible line should appear across the middle of the slides when the two solutions meet. I've never met a more principled human being than William Murdoch. Perhaps that is in part because of his religious convictions. Though, I believe there are moments when his religion places him at odds with his deepest value. Two men are dead. By all standards, good men. Yet they're condemned to eternal damnation. How can this be God's will? It's not for us to question the will of the Lord. But that's just it, Father. I don't think I can follow blindly anymore. You're said to be a man of principle, as well as a man of science, who makes use of some rather unorthodox policing techniques. Novel, but not unorthodox. Forensic sciences have enabled us to take policing into a whole new era. We're able to deduce and reason far more accurately with science behind us. Do we have a description of the suspect? Yes, and I also have one of his finger marks. Finger mark from where? It was left behind in the carriage by the killer. Oh, my. Well, did it work? See for yourself, sir. Bloody hell. It's the man's skull. It's miraculous, isn't it? I've also been told that you're responsible for inventing a number of new devices for detecting purposes. Oh. One or two. I intend to build a goggle-like device that will allow me to see in the dark. I have built a graphizer. Here. What do you call it? A 
I call it a circumscope. It's called a pneumograph. It measures physiological change associated with duress. And just for good measure, there is a metal plate that renders the bullet harmless. It seems that Detective Murdoch is more of a scientist and inventor than a copper willing to get his hands dirty. Rubbish. Say what you will about his science and his cockamamie detecting contraptions and his puritanical ways, but when push comes to shove, Murdoch is a man who gets the job done. Who the hell are you? Detective William Murdoch, Toronto Constabulary. Bloody copper. That's right, sir, a bloody copper, and you are under arrest. I understand you'll be taking a leave now. It's not a leave. I'm currently under suspension. Can you say why? I'd rather not. What will you do? 